I'm going to show you the life cycle of the uh, cataform, how to get it started. I've got 13 trees here. I've tied them down and I cut each tip of the limb off so they'll bush out even more and have more leaves for the worms so uh, my worms will have plenty of things to eat. What you're going to need is a pan of water. Um, it doesn't have to be any, just fill it up. It doesn't matter. I've got a five gallon bucket with dirt in it. Maybe about six inches of dirt. Real soft soil, sandy soil. And then uh, I've got a lid. You can see it on the side of the bucket there. And there, right there is the P-U-P-A. Um, I can't pronounce it. But it's uh, what the uh, larva is that uh, makes the moss which makes lays the eggs on the tree and then they turn into a catapha worm what you see on the side of my bucket is grease car grease that is to keep any ants from walking up the side of the bucket if they happen to fall onto the bucket um, in the water and try to swim across um, you take the lid well first of all let me show you these. <clears throat> this is a tail right here. This is a head. What you'll do is you'll stick your finger in the soil and insert it in like that. I don't know if you saw him wiggle or not, but he did wiggle a little bit. And you insert that in the soil. You leave his head up just a little bit. Then after you got him st stuck in the soil, I've got a few stuck in the soil. I know you can see their heads sticking up right here. See their heads? That's all there is to it. You stick a stick in the soil. Now what happens is when they hatch out, they'll crawl up that stick and fly away onto the trees. And hopefully there's a male and a female and we'll have, uh, they'll lay eggs and then I'll have catapha worms. You take the lid and you stick it on the bucket. Just put it on one side. Leave it up about an inch and a half. About an inch and a half. That'll let the moss fly out. I got a little bit lower. It's got to come up a little higher. Then what you do is you stick the bucket in the water. And then some night they'll fly out there and uh, lay eggs on the trees. You want to have that up about an inch and a half so they can uh, get out. I'll have another video and show you what they look like when they hit the leaves. And I have a uh, little one. Thanks.